You better do that. I would be glad to. Thank you very much. The winner is Lou Lewis Gossett, Gossett Jr. You know, when you prepare a speech, it's no use because it's all gone. <laughs> I tried to get my kid to come up here to share this with me. But there are some special people I would like to share this with. Specifically, tomorrow is the 17th anniversary of my relationship with my one agent, Mr. Ed Bondi. <laughs> they say marriages don't last. I've got a spirit that guides me, starting with my great-grandmother who died at the age of 117, and uh, my mom and dad, who I know are watching, and my cousin Yvonne, thank you. You make everything fall into place. And all you other four guys, this is ours. Thank you. I had seen the other Oscars. I know the Fred Astaire's and John Wayne's, the Joseph Cotton's, Jack Lemmon. All the people that I really loved their performances. Uh, so I said, well, there's Robert Preston over there. It's his last movie. Victor Vipro, he's one. But then there's James Mason over there. It's his last movie. I'm in the top five, man. I made history. So I kind of went away. My son was here and he said he'd come up with me because he didn't think I was going to win, right? So he's sitting over there, my agent's over there. So I'm kind of thinking about something else and all of a sudden my agent hit me in the chest with his elbow. <laughs> they said, your name. I said, what? And they said my name. And it was Christopher Reeve, Superman. <laughs> in the flesh. <laughs> and Susan Sarandon. And I said, now what am I going to do? So I got up as smooth as I possibly could, trying to figure out what I was going to say. And I got up and I got a little hug from Susan. Well, this is international television. Give me another one, you know. And then I shook, shook hands with Chris of Superman, which had a little joke. You know, she, <laughs> and then I looked and I said, uh, all right. And I talked about my, my, my agent. Yes. And 17 years. And uh, he got, that was my best friend. Ed Bondi, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, my son said he was going to come up big one like this. And he didn't want to go. I told my cousin who came over to take care of my home. Yvonne. Yvonne, yes. I talked to her once a day, every day. Yeah. And then the rest of you four guys, this is ours. That's all I could say. Magic is magic. But I didn't work in movies for another year. Why? People weren't ready for me to win, mm. I guess. But television was ready, because I worked every week in television. But movies took a minute. Did that disappoint you? Yeah. But I was on that edge at the time. I was at the racial edge of, of upsetting, you know. Mm. Um, I figured I win the Oscars and Emmys. That's, I'm a billionaire. And it didn't really meant a million dollars for anything. In retrospect, I think had I won it, I probably would be dead. Probably would have misused it. Because hmm. they didn't know how to be responsible. Yeah. So I'm glad I didn't win it. That's hindsight. Hmm. But now, I'm ready now, y'all. You know? <laughs> but it's a, it's a different ball game now. Yeah. So things happen for reasons. And if you get yourself in a mode of, of receiving a proper message from somebody other than my mind, which is not always right, it's nine times out of ten is better. <laughs>